And welcome back to Holden's Golden Age of War Game with part 13 of our Let's Play of Soldiers. Uh, and this is going to be lucky 13. I can feel it in my bones. I'm going to do this whole turn without making any mistakes. Can I do it? The suspense is killing me. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Okay, so first off, we are in the German movement phase. It's turn 6, by the way, not turn 5 like I said last time. Uh, turn 6, so we're going to start off with our movement. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we need to get these infantry companies into the woods, waiting on this road here for our dear French friends to come along. So this guy here is going to go 1, 1.5, and 3.5, which means he can't fire. Now let me get this right now. Our other infantry company is going to go one and a half. It can still fire, but of course has no targets. These two, I mean, both on both sides here. This, I think I'm just wasting these. They're just being wasted, but I don't want to leave the woods and go forward. And I don't really see where to go with them going back. So I'm going to leave them there for now. The artillery, not moving. I'm going to see if I can set up an observed fire this time. In here, these guys definitely aren't moving. Okay, so I want to get rid of this. This dismounted cavalry needs to go. So I'm going to see if I can gather up enough firepower here. So this one's going to go half a point, half a movement to there, and this one's going to go half a movement to there. So they can still fire. Now, do I go here to help get even more? French are too close, and I, this game uh, has definitely taught me that uh, being in an empty hex, clear t uh, hex terrain, is uh, is not good. It's not a good decision. So they're going to stay. They're going to stay there holding that town hex. And I think these guys are going to come up one and a half, and they're going to stay there. They can all still fire, but of course some of them don't have any targets. So that ends our move phase. So now we remove the markers and we move to the German fire phase. Now, first thing that happens is the interdictions all come off as soon as uh, the movement phase is done. So they come off and I'll get rid of all those drawn lines. Next is the disruptions. So this is the German move phase, which means that all the German units with friendly phase disruptions on them are removed. So that's this one and this one. This guy and this guy, those don't come off until the end of the French move, the ne next French move. However, over here, this one says enemy phase, but it's a French unit. And because it's a French unit, it's in the, as far as it's concerned, it is the enemy phase because we're doing the German movement. So we just finished the German. So that comes off. Uh, I think, I think. I just did that all correctly. Okay, so we're now on to fire. So we're going to try to get rid of this piece right here. So what do we have? All these units here can double their attack strength because they're all adjacent. So we have 6, uh, 28, because so that's 14 times 2, that's 28, plus 6 is 34, and then another, so 28, 34, plus another 14 here is 48, 48 to 8, because it's in a town hex is six to one odds. So let's mark these as fired. And let's fire, six to one odds. Can we do it? Can we do it? I think we can. The only way I don't do it is if I roll six. And everybody knows that I never roll sixes, ever. Please don't roll sixes. Oh my, you know, you know, you, Obviously, there's something I did in a previous life. I don't know. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, so that would mean that we need to put an enemy 
phase disruption on that dismounted French cowboy. And that's all all those guys did. I'm not happy. Not happy the poor boys, my German boys are they're not doing what they should be doing. So after that, well I have a friendly unit in a clear hex beside this dismounted cavalry which is hidden in that town but I can use these guys as observers for this infantry company and all my artillery so once again we're going to do a massive artillery barrage on this poor French dismounted cavalry let's see if we can actually do something this time so we have a total of everything where we doubled last time this time we get to have everything which is nearly as much fun so you count up your total and then you have it so 7 17 27 36 36 halved is 18 18 and the defending defending town hex has a defense of 8 and 18 to 8 is 2 to 1 odds once you round down 2 to 1 I'll use the field gun since that's mostly what's doing the work here 2 to 1 This is just, I, the, the Germans lost all morale. Their, their hearts are just not in it. I'm not happy. Not, oh yeah, that. Not happy at all. I can't believe it. So that, I believe, <laughs> is the finish of the Germans fire base. So now, we remove the markers. We can flip this over because we don't care anymore. And we rotate the board to the French. We're busy <coughs> chuckling over the uh, uh, the German attacks that uh, just happened, if you can call them that. So what are the French going to do? Well, we can't use this. That just happened, right? So what do we got here? We have three, six. Doubled is 12. 2 doubled is. No, that is double. 1 doubled is 2. So that would be 14. So not good enough for these guys to help. So this 2, or this dismantled cavalry is going to attack here. So it gets 2 attack because it's adjacent. And that has a 1 or a 2 defense. So it's 2 to 2. That's a 1 to 1. Uh, odds. Let's see if they can disrupt uh, that uh, German infantry. Let's see if the French have more have more luck in doing this. They roll a three. Well, that's twice as good as, as the Germans. So we have disrupted, and that is disrupted friendly phase for that German. Infantry. And then we have the six that are doubled to 12. 12 to 8 is another one to one attack on this uh, dismounted German cavalry. So one to one odds. Here we go. Well, French aren't doing much better. It's a zero. Uh, so that's, uh, I've rolled four times, three out of the four times, I've rolled a six. I don't know, what should I be playing? Yahtzee, I should be playing Yahtzee. Yep, I'd be a Yahtzee champion. Uh, so that, no, that is those guys. And these guys can't see anything because they're in the town. And there's no friendly unit in a clear hex right beside them to be observers. So... Our luck so I think that leaves us with our trusty old field gun here and we have uh, two targets this guy or this guy and we're gonna go for this guy I think that's what if my research be correctly it's 15 16 hexes so well within our range we know the field gun has a strength of six they're in a clear hex defense of two three to one odds and uh, what happens if we roll six on a three to one 
doesn't matter. We're at least going to get a disruption. So let's see what happens. Can I go four out of five? Four out of five, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. I I mean, I'm in the. I need to play war games where you know the higher you roll, the better the result. Uh, that's I'm learning something about myself here today. No, it's just a bad day. A bad day for the Germans and the French. Uh, so that's nothing. Nothing happens. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Something does happen. That is going to be another friendly phase disruption for these guys. So at the very least, the spiel gun is keeping you know these infantry not moving much. Not getting very far. Uh, and I think... That's it. That's all the fire. Which means we are done with Germans' base. Which means we're moving the turn counter to turn seven. And next video, I will be back playing the French. And I believe I finally got everything done right at the right time in that turn. Let me know if I'm still missing something, but I'm going to get it practice the disruptions i'm going to beat it uh anyways take care guys have a good night and i'll see you next time